Hello dear students, welcome back to my science class. Today I am going to teach you chapter 6 of your NCERT science book that is physical and chemical changes. It is a very very interesting chapter to learn. So let's start. Every day you come across many changes in your surroundings. These changes may involve one or more substances. For example, your mother asks you to dissolve sugar in water to make a cold drink. Making a sugar solution is a change. Similarly, setting car from milk is a change. Sometimes milk becomes sour. Souring of milk is a change. Stretch rubber band also represent a change. So here in this part we have encountered a few changes that we experienced in our day to day life. Like in the first example where your mama asked you to dissolve sugar to make a cold drink. You have watched that when we dissolve sugar in water the entire sugar turned sweet in taste. And when milk is set to curd, the entire characteristics of the milk change. It taste change, it texture change and that curd cannot be again transformed into milk. Like when you stretch a rubber band, at that time when you release the stretch, rubber band again come back to your own shape. But showering of milk, then at that time we cannot get back the milk that was in the previous condition again. So in day to day life, we encountered a few changes that cannot be reversed back. And also we encountered a few changes that can be reversed back. So, whether the changes we encountered in our day-to-day -day life can be reversed back or cannot, on the basis of that, we divide the changes into physical and chemical changes. There are some more properties of physical and chemical changes that we will learn in this chapter. Make a list of 10 changes you have noticed around. In this chapter, we shall perform some activities and study the nature of these changes. Broadly, these changes are of two kinds. What are those? Physical and chemical. Now here you can see one example. We have taken a colored paper and we have cut down the paper into a few pieces. Right? Now, if we take one piece of the paper, that is also even a piece of paper. That means it contains all the characteristics of the paper. So, there is no change in the chemical structure of the paper. But, can you get back the same size of the paper again after you cut it? No. So though it is a physical change because there is no change in the chemical property but we are not able to get it back into its original size. That means this is an example of a physical change which is irreversible. Now we are going to read about characteristics of physical change first. Activity 6.1 Cut a piece of paper in 4 square pieces. Cut each square piece further into 4 square pieces. Lay these pieces on the floor or a table so that the pieces acquire the shape of the original piece of the paper. Obviously, you cannot join the pieces back to make the original paper. But is there a change in the property of the paper? And your answer is certainly not. There is no change in the property of the paper. 
though we are not able to get back the original size of the paper. We are coming to activity 6.2. Collect the chalk dust lying on the floor near the chalkboard in your classroom or crush a small piece of chalk into dust. Add a little water to the dust to make a paste. Roll it into the shape of the piece of a chalk. Let it dry. Did you recover the chalk from the dust? Yes, we can recover it. Right? Now, next another activity, 6.3. What we are doing? Take some ice in a glass or plastic tumbler. Melt a small portion of the ice by placing the tumbler in the sun. You have now mixture of ice and water. Now place the tumbler in a freezing mixture. Does the water become solid ice once again? And your answer will be definitely yes. Now we are doing another activity. Activity 6.4. Boil some water in a container. Do you see the steam rising from the surface of the water? Hold an inverted pan by its handle over the steam at some distance from the boiling water. Observe the inner surface of the pan. Do you see any droplet of water there? Children, we experience this in our day-to-day -day life. When water is boiled in a container and if we cover the container with a lid, we will see that the lid contains water droplets. Why? Because the water vapor when come in contact with a cold surface is again condensed to form water. So from water to water vapor, water vapor again condensed to form water. In the previous exper experiment from water to ice, ice to water again. So we can see these are the reversible change where we can see change in state without changing in any chemical property. In some cases we have seen the change in size where we have cut the paper. Whenever we stretched the rubber band we have experienced change in shape. Whenever we crush the uh, chalk into dust, uh, dust we have seen a change in shape. Whenever we are converting water to ice or steam, we have seen change in state. So change in shape, size and state, these all are included in physical change where actually no chemical property of the substances are changing. Let's see another activity. Activity 6.5. Be careful while handling a flame. Hold a used hacksaw blade with a pair of tongs. Keep the tip of the free ends of the blade on the gas stove. Wait for a few minutes. Does the color of the tip of the blade change? Obviously, if we hold it near the flame, we will see that it become hot and it turned into red hot. The color changed into red. Right? But, Whenever we will cool it down for some time, we will see again it get back into its original color. So remove the blade from the frame and observe the tip once again after some time. Does it get back to its original color? And the answer is definitely yes. Remove the blade from the frame, observe the tip once again after some time and it will get back its original color. In activity 6.1 and 2 above, you saw the paper and piece of chalk underwent change in size. See here, rusting of iron is showing. We will come to it later. So, all the activities so far we have observed, we have seen that change in the shape, size, state, even change in the color whenever something is becoming hot, turned into red hot and once again it get back to its original color whenever heat is removed. So, properties such as shape, size, color and state of a substance are all called its physical property. But children, I want to say that change in color 
I repeat, change in color always cannot be considered as a physical property. Change in color, color change sometimes results into chemical changes. Broadly, change in shape, size, color and state of a substance are called its physical property. A change in which a substance undergoes a change in its physical property is called a physical change. A physical change is generally reversible. That means we can get back the original substance back. In such a change, no new substance is formed. As for example, cutting of the paper. As for example, water is turned into ice and steam. As for example, you hold a metallic container it turned into red hot and once again it's come back to its original property so generally change in shape size state and sometimes color is known as physical changes because these are the physical properties of substances generally the physical changes are reversible that means we are able to get back the original thing once again Sometimes it is irreversible like cutting of the paper. We cannot get back the original size. But there is no change in its chemical property. So this kind of changes are known as physical changes. In our next class we will learn about chemical changes. Thank you.